Good evening and thanks so much for choosing KLBK News. I'm Terry Furman. As low visibility continues to impact the roads all throughout the South Plains, the Department of Public Safety is asking you to slow down out there. Now, as you can see, our tech stock cameras have some foggy conditions on them this evening and it's really impacting visibility. It's gotten a lot better this evening, but DPS says they've seen several accidents out in the county and say it's only going to get worse as the storm comes through. Our Emily Harrison met up with an official from DPS to find out what you need to know if you're going to be driving on these roads tonight. This morning alone, uh, DPS has responded to four crashes out in the county that were weather related due to the slick roadways. Uh, we had a, a fatality crash last night and then we had one the day before near Roscoe. DPS says drivers are underestimating just how bad the roads are. While it may not be as visible as snow, it can be just as dangerous. The roads develop a, a layer of oil and that's from the vehicles driving on them. So when you see the first moisture of the year, that oil rises to the top. So the roadways are pretty slick for a while. While DPS recommends you don't get on the roads at all, if you need to put on your low beams, not your high beams, because those can actually blind you, leading you to hydroplane. Going straight down the road, you may hydroplane for a little bit and continue going, but on curves, once you start to hydroplane, it's going to want to force you to go in the direction that you're going. Lieutenant Witt says hydroplaning is more common than you think, and if it happens to you, you need to know what to do. Yeah, if you start your hydroplane, it's very important not to slam on your brakes. You want to let off the gas. You want to steer gently into the direction you're skidding in until your vehicle straightens up. The main thing is you don't want to run off the roadway going sideways. That's what causes your vehicle to roll. All of this can be avoided, though, if you just take it slow and put on your safety belt. That way, both drivers and first responders can be safe. You have to realize first responders are going to be responding in the same weather that you're driving in. So if you slow down and make it to where you're going safely, we don't have to drive the, the same roads to get to you to try to help you uh, where you could have just slowed down and made it there safely. Emily Harrison, Kelby Kane News.